Terahertz radiation can be made from the ambient environment. As water flows and reacts to friction, it will produce terahertz radiation. Waterfalls, waves against the rocks or ocean side, all these things create terahertz radiation. Also, re radiated earth heat and living things. This terahertz the terahertz radiation is throughout the environment in Amun present. It can be used for a variety of things, although it is non-ionizing. One of these applications of terahertz is to make hydrogen fuel from water. To do that, the terahertz radiation is converted first into ultrasound. As we see here from the EE Times, terahertz detectors go handheld. What happens is, thanks to carbon nanotubes, we can create a polymer and a nanomaterial which has some very interesting properties. This nano composite allows one to produce terahertz radiation into ultrasound. The terahertz radiation bombards the material and after it does so that is then converted to ultrasound. Therefore terahertz radiation from the ambient environment is converted to ultrasound and the ultrasound can be run into a reactor. This is a picture of Mr. Guo's research group. That you can see in this picture there are different lenses. These are terahertz lenses. Terahertz impacts the lens and creates ultrasound. These lenses are in different shapes as shown in the picture. Polydimethylsaloxene PDMS is the mixture that is uh, similar or analogous to rubber. This is combined with the carbon nanotubes in order to create the material that converts terahertz into ultrasound. Once the terahertz is converted into ultrasound, it is sent to a reaction chamber. In this reaction chamber, that ultrasound reacts with zinc oxide in water to create hydrogen gas. The zinc oxide in crystals in water, as is in this depiction, create from the ultrasound hydrogen gas which is collected at the top of the reaction vessel. This is from uh, originally New Scientist magazine, crystals harnessing this ultrasound energy to create hydrogen from water. from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. It's where the original research is. The hydrogen produced from this reaction can be run in fuel cells or in internal combustion engines. If you run it in a fuel cell, it is more efficient. In an internal combustion engine, not all the chemical energy in hydrogen is utilized, but it can also be used to replace internal combustion engines petroleum. In this case, it is used and can be made renewable.